day by day society is slowly declining because apparently kids know what they want with their lives and what they want to do with their bodies. As I usually say, I am not going to talk anymore. So let us get into the video. What's up, my friends? How's hey guys, it going? Would any of you guys like to chat with us? Wondering if you wanted to have a conversation today about any of this. I do not. How are you? Good to see you. Never met you. Crazy. Out of our space. Oh, no. oh are you excuse pushing me? me? Why are you? This is assault. This is actually assault. Right. Right. Hey, you can't get okay. excuse me. Jamie, good to see you. Yeah, you too, bro. You have any words for the camera for our video? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> hi. I'm Jamie. The These people were genuinely shouting out, "This is assault!" While they were assaulting him. This is just beyond stupidity at this point. These people just do not understand anything. And as I've said, they don't want to hear the truth. They just want to live in their echo chamber where everyone says the same thing that they say. Founder of Gays Against and. We're here to represent the gay and trans community, that we stand against this. The mass majority of our community stands against this. And they are giving us a bad name, and we see ourselves in these children. We'll try to have some conversations. The, the siren makes it difficult, obviously, um, but we'll do our best. See, now that they've got them distracted, we can talk to some people. Shout out to Jamie for uh, sacrificing herself back there so we can go have some conversations. She, she jumped on that grenade for us. Your, your kid's on puberty my, blockers? My uh, extended family is on puberty blockers. How old are they, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, they started puberty at uh, 11, and they didn't want to have breasts. They didn't want to have... And it's a pause. It's reversible. Puberty blockers are reversible. It's a pause. But my, our family member has been trans since four. Did she really just say it's reversible? How in the blue hell are you going to reverse time? Time cannot be reversed. So the rubbish she was just spewing is absolute nonsense. Let's say if they were to put the kid on puberty blockers from the age of 11 to 22, how are they going to reverse the time? Trust and believe that these people do not have brains. Say coincidentally you, were, you felt like you were a girl but you were in a man's body. To force you to get puberty, hair, underarm hair, Adam's apple, when that's not you, and you grow in that body, these puberty blockers allow these children to not have that body, because that body for them is death. So the first claim, puberty blockers are reversible. How does that work? How are they it's reversible? It's a pause, because what I a puberty know. blocker does is it pauses the puberty process. There's five stages of puberty, and so basically, it chemically, it pauses it. So the minute they get off of the puberty blockers, their body continues in their biological puberty. So out of 100 kids, how many of these kids do you think come off puberty blockers and when do they come off of them, do you think? The only kids that are really, um, that are trans and not, you know, experimenting or anything, they, they go through with it. Yeah, they stay on them. They stay on them until yeah. they get onto cross hormones, which are not reversible. So therefore, it's not a pause. It's just it is a pause. stopping puberty. No, it's a pause because they can get off of them and continue in the regular biological puberty. So well, it is could. a pause. So the truth is that... But sure, it's their it's decision. A... Okay, so... Right? If I, if may I just my make child... my counterpoint? Let me finish for a second. All right. If, if our children um, want to grow breasts and hips if they're a trans boy, they have that option. They can always get off the blockers and they don't want to. And with this degenerate type of thinking, we should apply this to a range of things. If 11 year olds want to drink, they should be able to because that's how they feel. If 11 year olds want to smoke, they should be able to because that's how they feel. And if 11 year olds want to engage in some actions, that usually adults engage in that I do not want to say for YouTube sake, they should be able to engage in those actions because they feel like it. With this type of thinking, it's going to open the gates to a lot of other rubbish that's going to happen in the future. And these people are so in the moment and so in the now that they don't even think this far ahead. They just care about feelings now and how they feel now and me, 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 that they don't even think about the future. And it's really sad that they're using kids to do all of this experimenting on. Because they're in the wrong body. Okay. And so go ahead to ask me your question. Okay, so sure, if a child went on puberty blockers for three months or so, came off, not too much harm done, right? Puberty would resume. It would even presume if they went on for two years, it would still resume. They Their would have lost. Would start to grow. They, they would have lost out on two years of development. No, like they these would. boys that go on puberty blockers from the age of 
12 to 17, for example, they end up with a micro penis for you, life. Are you, are you talking? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Well, sure they do. You're saying that it just resumes? Before we get back into the video, I need all of you to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified when one of my videos come out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video if you enjoyed the video, comment down below. I'll try and reply to as many comments as possible and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yinka, that guy. Let's get back into the video. And, and there's no and there's no damage I, I done. What is your basis for saying that if you don't mind me asking? Because I work with our pediatricians and I've worked with uh, multiple pediatricians on that and that's scientific evidence that they provide. So you're not Where's aware that these boys end up with a micro penis for life? Uh, are you talking about trans boys or are you talking about biological boys? I'm talking about males. That get onto the puberty blockers? That's right. They end up with a micro penis for life. They probably want that. They don't want a penis. No, they want a vagina. You, you have got to be kidding me. You, we need to stop with this stupidity. The whole reason they would have came off of it is because they don't want that and as i said these people don't care they don't think that far ahead they genuinely don't think that far ahead and the saddest thing is these people are adults this is an adult giving this advice to younger people but here they are giving stupid advice to young people and young people take it on board based on their feelings and then five years down the line they thought what they did was wrong and they want to stop it but now they end up with things that they didn't expect would happen because of grown adults giving useless information puberty doesn't resume at 17 those years so are gone so here's what happens with the gone. boys you're talking about a biological boy who wants to be a female right they do need at some point in time to have penile growth so their pediatrician and their endocrinologist will work with them on that because in order to have a oh, successful vaginoplasty yeah they have to work together with their endocrinologist. Yeah, they do. So do you know what ends up happening have to you, these have boys? Have you met with a pediatrician? Hold on. Like, have you? Let's have a back and forth here where you talk and then yeah, I talk. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Go ahead. Let's That's do That's like it. what we call a conversation. Yeah. I'm aware of a conversation. All right. These boys, when they grow up and they have this 12-year-old's penis as a 17 or 18-year-old and they want to get the vaginoplasty done because it won't grow anymore, they end up cutting out a piece of their colon or a piece of their stomach to form the, form the lining of the neo vagina. Doesn't matter. This is exactly doesn't matter. That they doesn't want matter. a vagina. No, it doesn't matter. You Whatever think that's surgical fine? Yeah, of course. Whatever surgical procedure they need to have a vagina to make them happy is in the medical community's decision. It's not yours. Oh, I see. It's theirs. I just believe everyone has a right to receive medical care, regardless right. of how they identify. Okay. So do you think a ten year old, for example, can consent? to sterilizing themselves? Do you think they can understand that decision when they're 10 years old and still believe that a big fat man in a red suit flies through the sky at lightning speed, comes down their chimney and leaves presents under their tree? I think that's a loaded question. There wasn't really much loaded in that question. It was very simple to understand. But as per usual with these people, he understood the question, but because he didn't have an answer to the question, he says it's a loaded question when it really isn't. You just don't want to follow the logic and you want to continue to live in your lie. And that's why you claim it's a loaded question. You can consent to throwing away their future sexual function? Uh, if they're at an age at which they understand their own identity, yeah. What age is that okay? Um, I don't know. I'd say about 15, 16. You would be against any form of transitioning uh, before 15, 16, is that correct? Um, if the parents consent to it, then, you know, yeah, I think they should be allowed to. At any point or just 15, 16? Uh, at any point. Okay, so if they, let's say, seven years old, parents say it's okay, go for it? If they, it's their kid, you know? <laughs> it's their kid, so surgical transitioning, just to confirm, I'm not like a... I, yes? I'm For you? not necessarily surgical, but maybe hormones if they'd like that. What if a parent consented to abusing their child? Would that be okay? Well, that's just against, you know, human rights in general, you know? It's against human rights in general. What if they wanted to abuse the child by putting them on hormone blockers? You do know parents might actually do that to abuse their children, but hey, what do I know? You guys are the ones who are smart. You guys are so smart that you're saying kids know whatever they want and whatever kids feel like, it must be true. I'm the stupid one. I'm the one who's stupid, actually. No. So we agree that we shouldn't give parents the right to abuse their own children. Yeah, but it depends what your definition of abuse is. Well, I would say that altering the biology of a 10 year old, destroying their future sexual functions, sterilizing them, cutting off their body parts, I'd say that's abuse personally. All right, well, that's your opinion. Yeah. You disagree with that? Uh, no comment. It's our children's decision to right. work with their medical providers, not yours. Do you, do you mind if I ask you how young you believe that children should be able to surgically transition their gender or start the process? How young, in your opinion? 
Is How that okay? young? Would you be okay with it at five years old? Uh, no, of course not. But they're you'd children. Be a, you'd be but, okay with 11 because they're 11. not children? No, no, no. Surgery. So let's classify surgery, okay? There's a lot of different surgeries. So uh, we have a 13-year-old trans friend, uh, biologically a female who's transitioned to a male. He wasn't allowed to, he wasn't aware of his identity, so he started to develop breasts just before he had the puberty blockers. So now he doesn't want those breasts. So he's, he's 14. And he's 14 right now and he doesn't 14 want 14 and he wants the breast tissue removed from his top. Okay. And you'd be okay with that? I would. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because they know what's best for them? Yeah. Okay. My 13 year old's pretty clear. My This 13 year old is pretty clear. Sure. I, I, I know. They don't go to school camps because they're embarrassed about their breast tissue because they are boys. So, but as far as like bottom surgery and stuff, like I actually think that they should be adults. My opinion. Yeah, these people are absolutely insane. And I don't know how they came to the conclusions that they came to. It's absolutely sad that we've come to a society where people are saying 11 year olds know what they want in life and they know what they want to do with their bodies. And I keep saying it that these people are grown adults, apparently grown adults and these are the types of conclusions that they come to but anyway that was another video another reaction as i usually say if you guys enjoyed the video like the video as much as possible comment down below subscribe to the youtube channel follow me on twitter at yinka that guy and i am out